Want to know what I do with my reselling profits? Then check out my sister channel, link will be in the description. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So I was just recording my FBA sales update and I thought, why don't I do an eBay sales update? Because it's so easy for me to do it this way because I've already got it all set up. So yeah, without further ado, I'm going to share with you a few eBay sales from the last, I think it's between the 8th and then today, which is the 19th. So uh, yeah. Without further ado, we'll just get on with this. I'll try and be as quick as I can. I'll get through as many sales as I can. And hopefully you'll learn something in the process. But I can't guarantee it. So, yeah. Just be looking out for those knowledge bombs if you see them. Um, so, yeah. This was a Disney Wonderful World of Reading backpack and books bundle. I actually got this from a car boot. I believe £2.50. She originally wanted like 4 quid, And I said to her 2 quid, And then she said 3 quid, And then I think I said 2 50 Anyway, you know how it goes. I don't need to explain that to you. But, uh, yeah. So... £2.50 on this into £14.99 plus postage. Nice little bag this. Um, you don't often see this with the books, or I haven't ever seen it with the books anyway. So I knew that that would add some added value, so that would be pretty cool. So yeah, pretty happy on that one. Uh, nice little sale there. Um, you know, just bread and butter item, but still pretty cool. Next was this Leonardo Collector's uh, Porcelain Doll Music Musician Fiat Fran... Oh, I can't say that. Musician Francesca, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, with violin and blue dress. This went for £10.15 plus postage. I'm now in profit on these uh, dolls. If you don't know, ages ago, um, I know someone at a charity shop and basically said to me, all these dolls have come in. I've got like six bin bags full of them. Uh, you know, would you be interested? And then obviously we agreed a price, which was £50. And I didn't know whether I was doing right or wrong at the time. But it turns out it's a pretty decent decision. Sold quite a lot of those dolls now. And I'm in profit. So, yeah, pretty happy with that one. You know, just uh, more profit on the pile, really. Uh, next, I wanted to uh, spend a little bit of time on this one. Uh, this is a vintage national uh, gas and oil company. Have a look around the national leaflet. Now, I know some people are aware that these leaflets leaflets go for some money um, but I do feel like people do gloss over these types of things at auctions and stuff like that so yeah these things are definitely worth looking out for they're never like really really big money but these are, like little leaflets and stuff and I think they call it euphemro and stuff like that uh, things that generally you're only going to use once and you normally throw out and stuff like that um, they they do go for good money not everything you know there's certain ones that go for better money and stuff but it's always nice because they don't take up, up, up much space as well in wherever you're storing the item um so generally it's nice just to you can get a big job lot of these and you can get maybe 50 listings out of the job lot uh, and you can get some really really good money because sometimes these boxes of stuff only go for 10 20 pound and there's tons of these things in it and you can just list them at a you know a set price like 7.99 6.99 9.99 whatever it may be and generally the right buyer will come along within a certain time period and then slowly pick them off so i always kind of think these are good inventory builders if that's kind of the road that you want to go down if you want to build a large inventory these are good things for doing that and you know they, they are slow to sell but they don't take up ma that much room because they're just so small so definitely wanted to spend a little bit of time on that and obviously mention that because these are pretty decent uh, next we've got these classic dot 2 bbc collectible sci-fi voc robots from the robots of death of course d8 uh, d84 v45 and sv7 um i did these a little bundle i could see that we were going for like I don't know, between 10 and 13 pound each, basically. And I thought, you know what, I'll do these as a bundle for 30 quid. And I was really, really happy with that. I was happy that they actually went at that because I wasn't sure because I hadn't really seen any of these in bundles actually sell. I'd only seen them in, you know, individually sell. So, yeah, pretty happy with that. These obviously just go towards paying for one of the Doctor Who job lots. Obviously, I worked out um, in the job lots, like, where my profit margins were and stuff. So, I'm not going to attribute, like, a, a, a single cost to these because I was doing it more as a as a bulk kind of uh, job lot. I was assessing them as a bulk job lot and saying, right, this is what I'm paying for it. This is what I get back for it. And this is my profit. Um, but, yeah, that'll just go to either paying for one of those or obviously putting me in profit on one of those. So, yeah, pretty happy with that. Next, we've got a vintage 1968 Henry VIII uh, Peggy Nesbitt collectible costume doll. doll. I actually got this 
it's another job lot of dolls from a diff from basically a different pickup at an auction house. Um, and yeah, this probably would have only cost me like a quid or two. I didn't really pay a lot uh, in the bundle. So yeah, pretty happy with that. £22.04 plus postage. Obviously, I've reduced that down in a sale or whatever it may be. Um, it's obviously reduced down to a random price of £22.04. Um, so yeah, pretty happy with that one. Uh, worth looking out for this one. Um, and yeah, if you see it, pick it up for a couple of quid because you'll get some decent money for it. It was a bit of a slower seller though. Probably took like six months or so to sell. But still, I'm happy to wait on some things like that. Uh, next was this Inspector Wet... Wet... Yeah. Inspector Wexford, that's how you say it, yeah. Uh, 24 99 free postage. I showed this in a haul video very, very recently indeed. Um, I got it for either 2 99 or 3 99 I can't remember which one. 2 99 or 3 99 And uh, yeah, 24 99 free postage. Really, really happy with that. Nice little quick flip. I don't know how much profit's on that because I'm like beyond doing working out individual profit for items now i just can't be bothered to sell too much but i'm guessing probably like 15 quid something like that 10 15 quid probably 15 quid so yeah pretty happy on that one uh, next this large brass far eastern solid heavy benares table tray top thing whatever you want to call it um 52 pound 91 plus 10 pound postage i got this again it'll be in a larger job lot of brass and metalware and things like that so yeah pretty happy with that obviously i would say that that cost me about 10 quid in the job lot because it would have been the main focus of the job lot the main reason i was buying the job lot so it would have attributed some decent cost to that um, but still i'm still happy with 52 pound 91 on that plus my postage worth looking out for these sometimes you see them at the auction house on their own in a single lot and they might go for you know five to ten pounds singularly um you know as i say on their own in a lot or you might see them with other things with different other larger metal uh, metalware items and then again you'll probably end up getting them for about that same sort of cost price of about a five ten pounds sometimes they may go a little bit more sort of 15 or 20 pound um but yeah ge de generally uh, pretty good to pick up they're not the fastest things to sell, but if you do the keywords right and stuff, like sometimes I don't, um, but if you do the keywords right, you will sell them pretty quickly, so they're not too bad. Next was this Doctor Who, the Saint and Pit capsule uh, with the 10th Doctor and Toby. I added Toby in this because I didn't really see anyone else adding Toby, and I thought, oh, that might just give it a little bit more appeal if I did, so I think it was the possessed Toby figure. I'll just zoom in. Yeah, it is the possessed Toby figure. Um, so yeah, it went fairly quickly for 14 99 plus postage on that, so pretty happy with that pretty decent price on that and yeah quite happy with that one again goes towards paying for the doctor who stuff uh, next was something i picked up in the charity shop for three pound i believe it was when i went to altering that time only a few weeks ago um this was the vintage vintage something else i can't pronounce as well rum top rum top i think it's rum top um, ceramic jar, uh, this was like a beige and white one, I didn't see any that were actually listed at the time of me listing this, uh, so that was pretty cool, so I decided to go for 19 99 plus postage, I thought I might only be getting 10 or £15 pound plus postage for this, but seemed like I could get a little bit more, so these are still worth looking out for, especially if you can get them, you know, cheaper than a fiver, like 3, 4 quid, something like that, um, but yeah, 20 quid plus my, uh, Hermes postage, pretty happy with that one, 28 centimetres high, obviously, as you can see, on the uh, title there, 807-28, the 28 is how high the piece is, um, like I've mentioned a million times before. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's that one. Next was something that sat for a long time, probably due to the photo, you can see the photo on this one isn't good. I do need a different setup to photograph glass because glass isn't very good when you're photographing it front on. You can see right now in this photo that you get this kind of just shadowing around it and it's not very nice it doesn't look look that appealing or that attractive um but this is a home guard uh home guard or however you pronounce it large 12 inch cluck cluck scandinavian glass decanter i got this i think i paid like six or eight quid for this i think i paid a fair bit maybe it was a fiver but it was between that five and eight quid i did pay a fair bit for this in a charity shop and i, I didn't know anything about glassware at the time and, uh, you know, I just thought, oh, that looks like a nice decanter. I think that would be worth money. And I think I had it on for, like, 50 quid or something, or 44 99 something like that for a while. Slowly reduced the price, reduced the price, reduced the price, and got to where it is now at £35.63 plus a fiver postage. You can see it's quite an old listing because I've only got a fiver postage on there instead of, like, 6 49 or 6 99 like I would have now. Unless eBay was doing that thing at the time where... You know, sometimes on some listings, it gives you a cut-off point for your postage price. So, sometimes in video games, it'll say, 
you are only allowed to put £3.50 maximum postage price. Uh, it might have been that, but I don't know. Anyway, still pretty happy with that, even from a you know top end of a, an £8 investment, even if it did cost me £8. Still pretty happy with that one. Next was these 10 times vintage Action Man pistols. I got these in a large job lot of Action Man stuff that worked out really, really well for me. Great, fantastic profit on that. I think I showed it in a haul video. I think these were from the lot that I got in that huge auction haul that... Um, I think the video is entitled, I filled the car again, or something like that. Um, but yeah, so essentially, I was putting on loads of different small lots of guns and pistols and dynamite and all the rest of it. And I generally just, uh, I think I just decided, right, I'm going to do like a quid a gun. And I'm going to do bundles of like five or ten, ten guns each. Um, and as you see here, there's ten guns here, 9 95 plus my postage on them. Took a while to sell. Uh, some of the guns went pretty quickly in the beginning because I was still trying to figure out my price and I think I may have undersold a couple, you know, right at the beginning. Um, but then, obviously, I readjusted my pricing and then some took a while to go and then some went still quite quickly. Um, but yeah, these are just the remnants from that, so I'm in profit on them, so pretty happy with that one. Um, so then next, I think this is the final one, it is the final one, but it's a very nice one to end on because I was really, really happy when I got this sale last night. Um, so this is a vintage brown Christie's red line in wool bowler style hat um, and it was a 58 centimetre, so about a medium, um, and, we, and I got 49.99 plus postage for that. Really, really happy with that price. And I'm actually in profit on that hat haul now. So this, after postage and fees, is all profit, which is what I like to see. Um, and especially, I had about... I think I got about five or six hats in that haul, so I was pretty glad because what I managed to do was, when the first two hats sold, which was a top hat, and the... Um, oh, what was it? Was it a Christie's? I think it was a Christie's uh, Trollby or Fedora that sold as well. Once those two had sold, I was then in profit, or just about in profit. And uh, then, obviously, I still had three or four hats left to sell. And then, obviously, after postage fees, they would be pure profit. So, I was quite happy with how that worked out because I was a little bit unsure of whether I'd make a decent level of profit on that haul because... I did pay up for it. I paid like 45, 40 or £45 pound plus commission for like five or six hats. And I wasn't too sure whether I'd make tons of money on that. But turns out I'm, I'm pretty happy and pretty comfortable with the profit margin on that haul. Now I've kind of sold for a bit of it. And it, it's always the way, isn't it? You know, you, you sometimes you're a little bit unsure at first. But when you start selling through things and you start totting up in your mind, you think... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to make a decent amount of profit on that. You know, sometimes when, before you actually buy a haul, you can kind of do all the calculations you want, but sometimes you still feel a little bit of self-doubt and you think, right, I'm going to go for it, but I'm going to have to kind of work it out as I go kind of thing and make sure I am actually making some decent money on this stuff. Um, but yeah, so anyway, that was that one. So we will end on that one. Nice uh, few sales there, as you will probably agree. Um, and yeah, I will uh, leave it there, guys. Don't forget, leave a comment, question or query down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, like the video if it was enjoyable for you. And I will see you in the next one. So I'll see you very soon, guys.